Otters. Aside from being adorable, otters have a really good abilities. It can gather fish, silica pearls, and some black pearls when you throw it in the water. However, I would not recommend that as they have low health and they will likely die to piranhas or other creatures in the water. It also gives you warmth, so it's good if you want to explore the snow biome or if you are constantly freezing and don't have or lost your fur armor. And for its main ability is that otters are the only creatures that can hold multiple of the same artifact in its inventory and it's the only way of keeping few of the same artifacts. So when you go to explore a cave and you have an artifact to spawn you'll be able to get that but when another one spawns you're not gonna be able to put it in your inventory if you already have that artifact but if you put it in the altar inventory then it doesn't matter you can put multiple of the same one as of how to tame them you just simply need to kill a fish drag it to the altar you want to tame then feed it it'll tell you to press EUI or whatever depending on the platform you own It's super simple, but you have to know that the better quality the fish is the better it is for taming Jerboa it can detect changes in weather and will alert the owner when there is a storm coming. Works only on Scourged Earth and Ragnarok as there are no other maps currently with weather changes. As how to tame them? Just punch it or use a club to knock it out, similar to the dodo, and put some major berries in its inventory. Be careful though as their torpor drops really fast. Bulb dog shine, horn, feather light, and glow tail. I have included all of them together because they all do the same thing, which provide light and will also alert the owner when there is a max level dino nearby. They are great if you like exploring in the dark or you are playing on aberration, which is almost all the time dark. How to tame them? They are passive tames. All you need to do is to go up to them and feed them mushrooms or seeds, which is their kibble. And it is much more effective. Ichthyornis. It can turn a lot of normal fish or raw meat dropping creatures into prime meat. Meaning any small creatures that usually give normal meat or normal fish meat, it will turn it into prime. Once the ichthy kill it and bring it to you, all you need to do is harvest it with a pickaxe. For example, it can get prime meat from dodos, pegos, lystros, trilobite and compies. And the prime fish meat from normal fishes you just need to set it to hunt and retrieve then throw it press attack my target on the dodos or whatever the creature is and that's it and if you need prime fish meat all you need to do is set it on hunt and retrieve throw it over the water of course there need to be fishes in the water it will kill them and bring them back to you how to tame them just boil it knock it out then feed it fish simple mesopithecus or the monkey it will throw poop at your enemy target which will slow them down and do some damage over time. Nothing crazy, it doesn't do that insane amount of 
damage or anything. It's just good for beginners as it's easy to tame and you can escape if something chasing you. If it didn't miss the hit of course. It will also unlock doors if you whistle it at the door for PvP only, that is. As how to tame them, just put measure berries in your last slot, then go behind it and feed it to it. But don't let it see you as it will panic and start running. However, it will calm down after a while, so don't worry if you messed up. It's fine, it just follow it from a bit distance and it will calm down after a while and you can continue to feed it. Dimorphodons. They are great damage dealers if you want a strong shoulder pet, then Dimorphodons are the one for you. They do quite a lot of damage, they're really good, they work best when they are in a pack, but however, even only one of them does quite a lot of damage. And for PvP, they hit the rider, even if mounted. It also reduces the weight of stuff by half. So if you put stuff that weighing you down in its inventory, it will weigh the half on you after you pick the Dimorphodon up. So they are all around great creatures. Uh, I would personally breed them and you can level up health and melee damage and they will help you quite a lot, especially in caves. How you tame a Dimorphodon? Bullet. Trank it with the trank arrows or trank darts. Put some meat in its inventory or prime meat or mutton, whatever you have, because it doesn't really drop much in effectiveness. So you'll be fine whatever you choose to use. Ego Mastex, the ones we all love and tamed at some point, whether it was willingly or just accidentally had a notification saying we have a new friend. What it does is that you can set it to steal from other players, and that's pretty much it for PvP. As for PvE, it doesn't do much really, it just look cool on your shoulder and it can gather some berries and that's about it. As how to tame it, simply put measure berries in your last slot, go close to them and it will come up to you and steal it, then run away for a while. You need to put more measure berries on your last slot and follow it. And if you lost it, you can always open the taming group and find the dino you are currently taming or knocked out and press on it and it will mark it for you. Hesperonis or the duck. It can lay golden egg which gives you an extra 10% temporary XP boost for you or when you feed it to bigger creatures and 500% XP boost for small non-rideable creatures. However, in order to lay a golden egg it needs to kill and harvest fish bodies and after it eats a certain amount, it will eventually lay a golden egg. It's a great small creature for beginners as it looks cool actually on your shoulder. And um, that's about it. As how you tame it, it's exactly like the otter. You just like, you need to kill a fish, drag the fish to it and feed it until it's tame. You have to know that if that duck saw you, it will attack you. Microraptor. It's only good for PvP. 
as it dismount an enemy player of their mount and stun them for 6 seconds. It's really great for PvP, as for PvE it doesn't really do much, it just looks really cool and they are super easy to tame as well, they are usually around the redwood but sometimes you can find them in a safe areas. How to tame them, you just need to bullet them, drank them, knock them out, then put some rare flowers in their inventory. Don't worry, they don't take much rare flowers, it only takes a few rare flowers and you'll have your own cool shoulder pet. And the last shoulder pet we have is the Compi. They are great for emotional support. It doesn't really do much, but it's easy to tame and great if you want a companion with you in your adventure. How to tame them? They are usually everywhere. Whenever you spawn, you'll find some of them following you. All you need to do is just punch them or trank them with trank arrows or trank darts or club. They have low health though, so be careful. And just put prime meat in their inventory. They only eat prime meat though, but that shouldn't be too hard to get. Be careful though, as their torpor drops really quickly, so you might want to keep an eye on their torpor or collect some narco berries and give it to them if you are taming a higher level one. And on that note, this is the end of the video. Thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you find this helpful. And if I forgot to mention anything about the creatures or anything you want to add, please let me know. And until the next one, bye bye.